Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another air fryer video. You guys have been loving all the air fryer videos that I've been putting on. So I thought today I would show you a couple of really weird things that you can cook in the air fryer that you might not have thought about before. If you're watching this video and you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. I post loads of different videos just like this one. And as the weather's getting cooler now, I'm going to be posting more weird and wonderful things you can cook in your slow cooker as well so if you like that sort of thing then I would love for you to stick around so before I get into the things you can cook in your air fryer I just thought I'd quickly run through the air fryer that I've got and how I clean it as well I will link my air fryer and a couple of other options as well down below in my description box everything that I'm going to link all of their features are pretty similar to the one that I have got I've got a 5.5 liter air fryer and I would definitely recommend sticking with the larger one because once you start cooking in this, you're gonna to want to cook absolutely everything in here, I promise. Since buying my air fryer, I have also invested in this little accessory pack. This was from Amazon. I'll link it down below in my description box and it's great. It comes with so many different parts so you can actually make so many more recipes in your air fryer. So we bought the Pro Scenic Air Fryer. It is really, really easy to clean. All you need to do is remove your tray from your air fryer, press the button on the handle and detach your basket from the tray. I then use a handheld scrubbing brush which dispenses washing up liquid and I just go over my basket and my outer tray as well, which is where all the fats from your food drip to. I just go in with some warm water and my washing up liquid, wash it all away. It's got a really nice Tefal coating, so everything just wipes off really easily from it. So with all that said, I'm now going to jump into the different things you can cook in your air fryer. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to make hard boiled eggs quick and easily in your air fryer. Okay, so to make your hard boiled eggs in the air fryer, you're just going to need some eggs and then a bowl of ice water as well. This method works if you cook one egg or if you want to cook 10 eggs as well. You just want to place them in a single layer on the bottom of your air fryer basket. You want to set your air fryer to 120 degrees centigrade. And then depending on how you want your eggs, you want to set them for eight minutes to have soft eggs, 10 minutes for medium eggs, and 12 minutes for hard boiled eggs. We are gonna go for hard boiled eggs today. So I set my air fryer for 12 minutes on 120 degrees centigrade. Once 12 minutes is up, you then want to take your eggs straight out of your air fryer and put them into your ice cold water. This is going to stop the cooking process straight away. Once they're nice and cooled down, you can then peel them. And as you can see, they have come out perfect hard and delicious. Next, I'm going to show you how to make some really healthy apple chips in your air fryer. So what you need to make these apple chips is obviously apples. I've just got one apple here. I've also got some cinnamon and then I'm going to just add a little bit of salt as well. So what you want to start off by doing is cutting your apple into strips. You don't want to make the strips too fine. You want to make sure they're kind of like four or five mil thick. Um, just a bit like this because if they're too thin you'll burn them and if they're too thick you won't dehydrate them enough. You can either core the apple or you can just keep the pips in and cook it with the pips. Completely up to you. And then you just want to pop them into a bowl, put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in per apple and one little grind of salt as well. Give everything a mix around and then place them into your air fryer in a single layer. You then want to cook your apple slices for 10 minutes on 200 degrees centigrade. You just leave them to cool and they're ready to eat. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make air fryer mac and cheese. This is honestly a real thing. And to make this, you want to use one of your accessory parts that I showed you in the intro. The ingredients you'll need for making mac and cheese in your air fryer is some macaroni pasta. You'll also need some milk. It can be skimmed milk because full fat milk sometimes it makes it a little bit too thick. And then I have also grated some cheese here as well. And then what I have done is this is just like a sort of like going off piece of bread. It's a little bit hard. So I've just put it in my blitzer and I've blitzed it up. This is gonna be my kind of like crusty topping. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is putting some macaroni into this deep based pan that I got in my accessory kit. And I'm gonna pour in enough milk to cover the pasta and I will also add half of my cheese as well. I will mix everything together and pop that into my air fryer on my chip setting, which is 204 degrees centigrade for 18 minutes. After about six minutes of it cooking, you want to take the mac and cheese out and stir it around. 
pop it in for another six minutes and give it another little mix around. And then for your final six minutes or so, you then want to add your um, blitzed up bread to the top as well as the rest of your remaining cheese. So that once your final six minutes is done, you have a really, really nice crispy, crunchy coating on top of your mac and cheese. Next up, we're going to be cooking some delicious loaded nachos in our air fryer. The ingredients you're going to need for these nachos are some tortilla crisps. You're going to want to get some black beans. These are optional if you want them or not. I'm going to also put on a sachet of seasoning mix. Um, this is what you usually use in a fajita recipe. Then you want some cheese, some sour cream, an avocado for guacamole, and also two green onions as well. So the first thing you want to start off by doing is getting your black beans and draining off the liquid inside. You then want to pop them into a pan and just fry them for a couple of minutes. While they're frying, you just want to also add in your seasoning mix and just combine it all together. You are then ready to start constructing your nachos in your air fryer. So I first of all start off by lining my air fryer with some tin foil. This just makes sure it's easier to clean and also it's easy to lift your nachos out of once you've finished. So you want to start off by putting your tortilla crisps into your air fryer and then spooning your black bean mixture over the top of them. Sprinkle cheese on top and then pop it into your air fryer on 182 degrees centigrade for five minutes. While that's cooking, you're then ready to prep your guacamole. You just want to mash up your avocados. If you have a little bit of lime juice, that's always nice to add in here as well. Once your air fryer has finished, then lift your foil out of the air fryer and you can transfer your nachos into a pretty looking bowl. You then want to dollop over some sour cream, your guacamole, and then sprinkle over your green onions. Now I'm going to show you how to make a really easy Victoria sponge. So what I've got in this mixing bowl is 200 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of butter, 100 grams of caster sugar and four eggs, as well as a little splash of milk too. I'm using self-raising flour, but if you use plain flour, just maybe put in a little teaspoon of baking powder as well. You need to just whisk this all up until it becomes a nice smooth consistency mixture. And then you want to put it into this deep pan. This is one of the things I've got in my accessory pack and it's just perfect for a cake. You don't need to grease this because it's already non-stick. So you just wanna pop your cake mixture into here and then you want to put it into your air fryer for 15 minutes on 180 degrees centigrade. <laughs> And then you want to put it back in for 10 minutes but on 170 degrees centigrade it's really important to turn it down for that last 10 minutes or you will burn your cake once your time is up you're ready to take your cake out you then want to cut it in half so you have two equal parts and then you can start constructing i like to put some jam and some whipped cream in between the two layers and then i want to add some more whipped cream on the top Next up, we're going to cook some chocolate chip cookies. The ingredients I've got in here for my cookies is 150 grams of butter. I've got 80 grams of sugar. I've got brown sugar in here. I haven't put any more um, sugar in there because I always like to put a little bit less in my cookies. I have got two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one egg, 225 grams of plain flour and I've got a little bit of salt and then I have also got a hundred grams of dark chocolate chip cookies to put in after so I'm going to blitz up this mixture and once this mixture has been blitzed I will then add in my cookies and then mix those through with a spoon instead of the um, beaters. And then you just want to line your air fryer with some foil or I have got these little mats. These are non-stick mats that can go in the oven and they can also go in your air fryer. So I will be using those to just line my air fryer like that. And then I will just spoon my cookie dough mixture into here in little balls. And then I'll put them in the air fryer on 180 degrees centigrade for eight minutes. Once the time is up in your air fryer, then just want to transfer them onto a wire rack or a plate just so they can cool down completely. If you can wait that long or just consume them straight away, whatever you fancy. But they are really delicious and a very quick and easy way to make some cookies. 
lastly, I'm going to show you how to make a really nice and fluffy omelette in your air fryer. For this omelette, you can obviously use whatever ingredients you'd like, but today we are going to be using some ham, some tomatoes and some spring onions. We've got three eggs to make our omelette here today and some milk as well, and then we'll also be adding a little bit of salt and pepper as well. So what you want to start off by doing is cracking your eggs and whisking them up. Add a little bit of milk to that along with some salt and pepper as well. And then you want to add all of your ingredients to your egg mix as well. I'm then going to put it into this little pot and this will go directly into the air fryer. And I'm gonna set it at 182 degrees centigrade for eight minutes. And it's going to cook through this omelet to perfection. So there you have seven weird but very wonderful things to cook in your air fryer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.